let's do this. Okay, so at this point you're probably wondering, what is this magic? How is he doing this? How is he playing Overwatch, a PC only game, on a Chromebook? This can't be right. He must be playing a video or something and he's just really good at matching the movements on the screen. That must be it. Well, it turns out I am actually playing this on a Chromebook. The difference is it's not actually running on the Chromebook. All of this is running on a computer right next to me underneath my desk. All the input is being sent from the Chromebook to that machine. So let's see how that actually works. As you can see here, my Chromebook is streaming the game from my desktop PC. The game itself is running on my Windows 10 machine and all the video, sound and input is being streamed to the Chromebook which is beside it. The good thing is this is all done wirelessly via Wi-Fi. As you can see here, the game itself is running in a window and can be easily switched out. Now the extension that I'm using is called Moonlight. You can control the game, or any application in fact, using this interface here. To get all this working, you need a Shadowplay enabled NVIDIA graphics card. So here I have a 960. And to get all this up and running, you just need to head to the Moonlight game streaming website, scroll to the bottom, and download the Chrome extension. Now they have other apps as well for Windows, for OS X, but I find the extension to be the easiest and most versatile uh, because it works on almost any platform. You can just download it and then head to your Chrome extensions page and simply drag and drop it onto the page after you've enabled developer mode. It's quite simple to install. A simple drag and drop will do. Now obviously there is a few more steps involved, but I will link the full guide in the description to the video. You can fire up the Moonlight app and then after you've connected the computer, you can just fire it up and it will show you a selection of games that you have. So you can run basically any game you want. Uh, even if the game doesn't show up on the interface, you can actually stream your entire desktop and then just run any app you like straight from the start menu. You can run Microsoft Office if you so desire. So here we are. I'm just going to play some uh, Counter-Strike here, some Counter CSGO. I'm going to play on the classic Dust2 map. As you can see, the sound is coming through already. People talking away on their mics. So here we go. I'm just going to auto select a team. All right, let's see. Let's pwn some noobs. Here we go. But what the fuck? The freaking hacks! Man. Okay. So because it's a Chrome app, uh, it can actually run on Mac OS as well. So here we are. I already have the extension installed. And I think I feel like playing some uh, Overwatch now. I mean, Counter Strike, such a bad game. Overwatch, so much better. All right, here we go. Let's see here. As you can see, the game loads straight up. We're going to do some uh, quick play for now. As you can see, the, the sound is coming loud and clear. We're just going to do some quick play. As you can see, the game is running in a window. Uh, and you can see here, using uh, the Mac uh, Mission Control, we can minimize the window as we need. All right, it's go time. I think I feel like playing uh, Genji today. All right, let's do this. As you can see, the latency between uh, the MacBook and the Windows machine is pretty good. I mean, there is some delay. Uh, I am running on a Wi-Fi AC connection.
Okay, just getting warmed up. It's all right, you know. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, yes, I got him. I got him. Yes, you see that? I killed someone. What? Oh, fuck this. Oh, I hate this guy. 